So let us move on to the next unit called analytical geometry. That is your fourth unit. As already I told you in the beginning of the section, I told you that uh, the chapter, the weightage content to analytical geometry. You will have more marks from uh, analytical geometry. That is 40 marks. I will just distribute the marks. So your objective type and your short answers and your long answers. You will be 4 from objective type, short answer 1 and 3 10 marks from here. So from this we can have some assurance that your sounded question I told you right, it's compulsory 1. Maybe you will have a chance of getting from analytical geometry. So always be thorough in your 10 marks in analytical geometry. Please don't avoid analytical geometry 10 marks. So because we will be getting 3 10 marks. That too, from application part, there is one very important one uh, question from this type, this uh, analytical geometry. What do you mean by application? There are so many application problems, the practical problems involving in ellipse and parabola. So you will be getting one problem from that, definitely 100%. That too be maybe for your a compulsory problem also. So therefore, totally we have 40 marks. So you have discussed in vector algebra, we will have 38 marks. But here we will be having 40 marks, that is 4 objective type and 1 short answer and long answer we have 3 uh, long answers. Okay. Now we are going to discuss the analytical geometry briefly, then we will go, go on to the 10 marks questions. Right? First you take down some of the results and formulae in analytical geometry. So don't forget this, is the, this chapter, this unit has a more weightage, that is you will be having 40 marks and also you will be containing three 10 marks question from analytical geometry okay so let us take down some of the results and uh, formulae any second degree any second degree equation so here in analytical geometry in your plus 2 syllabus we are going to discuss only about the conics so conic what do you mean by conics if a second degree equation a x square plus 2 h x y a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c equal to 0 represent a conic if and if only if if satisfies the following condition what is the condition suppose we are taking del is equals to a b c plus 2 f g h minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square that is not equals to 0. If and only if the second degree equation is said to be a conic if it satisfies the following condition. What is the condition? Suppose I am taking del is equals to a b c plus 2 f g h minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square is not equals to 0. Suppose the above equation is said to be a pair of straight line, first one, is said to be a pair of straight lines, pair of straight lines, then your condition is equals to 0, abc plus 2fgh minus af square minus bg square minus ch square is equals to 0. Second one, if it is a parabola, a parabola, a parabola, only if, only if, your h square is less than, uh, sorry, h square is equals to ab. Your del not equals to 0. Third one, an ellipse, an ellipse, only if h square is less than ab, del not equals to 0. And the fourth one is a hyperbola, only if h square is greater than ab where del not equals to 0. In your section, in your chapter analytical geometry, we are going to discuss four conics. First one is parabola, ellipse, hyperbola and rectangular hyperbola. In rectangular hyperbola, for a rectangular hyperbola, only if h square is greater than ab and a plus b equal to 0. So these are the four conditions for the conic. So first of all, you must know what is a conic. So a conic is a second degree equation which satisfies the following condition abc plus 2fgh minus af square minus bg square minus ch square not equal to 0. The following conditions are for parabola, ellipse, hyperbola and rectangular hyperbola is given. Okay. So generally we can call a path is called eccentricity. 
Eccentricity is a distance, is a length. So therefore it should be always in positive. In generally, we can say for a conic, there is a general equation, the general form of a conic. The general form of a conic is SP. Suppose if we take the plane as focus, if this is S focus, this is P of X comma Y on any plane, this is M, the perpendicular distance PM, then we can say the equation SP by PM is equals to E. E is nothing but eccentricity. This is said to be a path. In general form of a conic, always remember that if S is a focus and P is any point on the conic and M PM is the perpendicular distance, then we can say SP by PM is equals to E is a general conic. Depends upon the eccentricity, we can call at the conic as a parabola or ellipse or hyperbola or rectangular hyperbola. Therefore, first thing we are going for parabola. If it is a parabola, then we can say your eccentricity is equals to 1. Your E is equals to 1. Then I can simply say SP by PM is equals to 1. So this condition is only for parabola when E is equals to 1. Then we can say the standard equation of the parabola, the standard equation of the parabola is y squared is equal to 4ax. Usually the general form of the parabola is open rightward. This is the general form of a parabola. If it is open leftward, therefore we can say open left, uh, therefore we can say y squared is equal to minus 4ax. Therefore, open up and open down, we have x square is equal to 4ay and x square is equal to minus 4ay. Therefore, generally, we can say y square is equal to 4ax. Okay, now we, I am going to give some, some of the properties of uh, 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 that uh, parabola. First one is focus. Your focus is a comma 0. The second one we can say, your vertex here is 0 comma 0. Then, uh, equation of the directrix equation of the directrix is x plus a equal to 0. Then length of the lattice rectum, length of the lattice rectum is equal to 4a. The ends of the lattice rectum or a comma 2a and a comma minus 2a, a comma minus 2a. Let us take down some of the important uh, equations. The equation of the tangent, first one, equation of tangent at x1, y1 to the parabola, equation of the tangent at x1, y1 to the parabola is y, y1 is equals to 2a into x plus x1. Next one, equation of the tangent, sorry, equation of normal at x1 comma y1 is equation of normal at x1 comma y1 is x y1 plus 2a y x y1 plus 2a y is equals to x1 y1 plus 2a y1 next to the parametric equations of a parabola the parametric equations of a parabola are x is equals to a t square comma y equals to 280. x is equals to 80 square and y is equals to 280. Next one, the condition. The condition, note, let us take down the next note. The condition that the line, the condition that the line y equals to mx plus c may be a tangent may be a tangent to the parabola to the parabola y square is equals to 4ax is c is equals to a by m the condition is c is equals to a by m the point of contact of this tangent why i am giving this this is useful for your multiple choice questions that is your one word question so the point of contact you directly find out the point of contact using this result the point of contact of this tangent is a by m square comma 2a by m. a by m square comma 2a by m. 